This is my folding red trailer. I've had it for many, many years. I originally used to haul stuff around. It comes with metal side ricks or side rails. And uh, over the many years, probably 15 or so, it's taken a beating. It's worked out really well. This is my West Marine AL390. It's a 13 foot inflatable, kind of like a Zodiac. And initially, my brother and I purchased this for scuba diving. And over the years, it's uh, worked out fairly well. But uh, maybe took it out once, twice a year at that. But recently, I've been taking it out more often. And um, I'm cheap, and I didn't buy a boat trailer, so I used the uh, utility trailer to uh, tow it. Okay, so here is the boat on the trailer. And for the most part, it's worked out quite well. I used uh, some uh, strap down straps and uh, holds in place quite well. I do not leave the outboard motor on because it just makes it too wobbly and I'm always scared there's too much stress on the transom. The only downside to this is this boat has an inflatable keel that is filled right from this port here. And uh, I have to leave it empty. I cannot fill it. You can see the keel here is in the middle, but it's somewhat flat. And I'll show you the reason why. Well, you could probably see the problem right away. When I fill the keel with air, you can see that it now wobbles one way or the other. And of course, the reason it does this is this trailer doesn't have traditional bunks that you would see on a normal boat trailer. I went online to see if there's any do-it-yourself projects for small trailers like this and installing bunks. I did find a few that gave me a little bit of uh, info to go on and I created my own. So you might be wondering what took me so long to try this project. That's because I only took the boat out maybe once or twice a year and I didn't have a problem filling the keel at the uh, boat launch area. I just simply brought in a old jumper cable to my pump down here and then ran the jumper cable to my truck over there to the battery. But now that I'm taking this out more often, it's just a pain in the butt. To ensure nesting of the boat, I wanted a total of two sets of bunks, two on the outside and then two closer to the middle. So it's four bunks all together. Um, for the outside bunks, I decided to uh, take advantage of these stake uh, holders here. Check it out. Bam. So after taking measurements and getting the right angles, I simply used a two by four stud, I guess, and uh, some uh, one by eight, one by five, I can't remember what that was here. But I was able to uh, trim that up so it could fit into the stake holder here. I can even put the pin there to hold it. And then I used some brackets, steel brackets, so they won't bend as much, I'm hoping. And uh, since it was just on the one bolt, it was able to uh, accommodate the angle. And then I tightened it up. I'm not sure if you could see that. I found this uh, marine grade uh, bunk material on Amazon. I did put some uh, Roberts uh, 6700, I can't remember the number of it. It's a popular uh, marine adhesive. And then of course, uh, stapled on, then stapled on the carpet. All right, so that's the uh, two outer bunks. Let's see what we got for the two inner ones. All right, I'm back. Check it out. Here's the inner bunks. So once again, I just had to figure out the angle, did some measurements, cut some wood, trial and error. Now, how I attach this is you can see on this bunk here, there's some uh, bolts that hold it down to the uh, bed of the trailer. And what I did is, I'll show you on this one here, I haven't attached it down, is simply by putting in some T-nut on the underside. And there's one over here. So you just put the uh, bunk over the area and put in the T-nut. 
and you get the idea. It just screwed on place. And you can simply use a ratchet to cinch it down. Now, of course, as you can see, this is all removable, and that's the uh, idea I wanted, um, or I should say requirement, because when I want to put this back into a utility mode, I wanted to be able to do that. So uh, this worked out quite well. All right, we're back, and here's the final product. We'll take a closer look underneath. Not too bad. It holds it in all the right places. And the nice thing is, no wobble. In fact, it uh, rests in there quite well. I'll probably still end up putting tie-down straps over it and keeping it nice and secure so it doesn't blow away. But uh, there you go. I hope that was helpful.